Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here's a special edition. Guinness Draft Stout Revisited. According to their website, this was introduced in 1959. Well, Guinness Draft, just, you know, draft. And these cans, um, these widget cans came out around 1992. Uh, this is from Dublin, Ireland, in the Irish Republic, St. James Gate. Nitrogenated for smoothness, 14.9 ounce cans. Oh, let's see, anything else? It's 125 calories per 12 ounces, so getting more calories in this. Diageo Beer Company, USA, New York, New York. Glass tilted at 45 degrees, watch the surge settle and then enjoy. So there's the harp. They make a lager called Harp Lager. Which has been on the market for many, many decades. You can hear that surge. It's building up. very overcast outside so the lighting is not too great. Then you can have that reverse cascade. And it'll slowly build a cream like head. Uh, in Ireland I think on draft it's like 3.8. I know the Guinness standard is 4.2. This is 4.2. Um, they drink a lot in England and Ireland, Wales, Scotland, so uh, they usually deal more with like 3.8s to 4.2s because things tend to get out of hand over there apparently, more so even than this violent country called America. All right, um, so there you go, it's almost done. Best enjoyed poured into a glass. Unlike that heady topper I had last year that was saying, drink out the can. I said, I'm not drinking out the can. Because even their reasoning wasn't sound, I thought. But still, out of the glass, it was a 98 out of 100. Maybe in the can it would have been 100. I don't know. There's a little cocoa and malt, like coffee and cream, but it's very, very low profile. Okay, if you're looking for strong, bold flavors, this is not it. Here we go. Cheers to Guinness. You get the dark roasted malts, but it's not burnt. Some, I'm thirsty. Some people say that they add sour beer to it. I've heard that. I have not seen any evidence to that effect. Look at the creamy foam around the side, that lacing. So you just get, it's like dark roasted coffee, bread crust, the body's light, the finish is dry. This is like I guess a dry stout, it seems dry, it's not much sweetness with it at all. On the sweetness scale, it'd probably be one and a half out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness scale, I guess two out of five hop cones. Now I did cut the grass today, first time in 2022. It started raining on me right at the end. <laughs> when that cold front came through, I said, I'm not stopping though. I was about, I got really wet, but that's okay. Um, it was warm. When that thing finished passing, it won't be warm. It'll be cold. Um, so I was thirsty, and I guess I didn't drink enough water previous to this examination. This review, so I could gulp this down so fast right now. But um, you say, that's a lawnmower beer. Well, 
I usually drink water after cutting the grass, mowing the lawn. Um, is this one of the world's most perfect beers? I think it is, really. I mean, if you ask me, um, and I don't do lists, people ask me occasionally, make a list, make do a video list in your top ten beers, and I say, I, I don't really know what those are, you know. Um, and I never watch videos like that, so I, I'm not going to make a video like that because I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't even watch it, you know, but, um, but I think this could be in the top, one of the top ten. I mean, it's, you say, what are the flaws? What are the flaws? I don't see any flaws. <laughs> first reviewed this like 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's like a perfect beer. It's like 100% delicious, flawless. In my opinion though, you might be able to make a response video just showing all the negative things about it. I just don't see it. Love the lacing. Yeah, I want to take a photo. So, um, yeah, it's a hundred. It's it's hard to believe, but it's a one hundred out of one hundred. So you can get a four pack of these for eight ninety nine, if that's a good deal. I don't know. A store around here I had them for ninety nine cents. I got two cans. I could have gotten three. I should have, but they were ninety nine cents. So I took advantage. Awesome beer. What about the extra stuff? It's great too. Not a hundred. It's fabulous. Um, foreign extra stout. Well, that might be a hundred, you know, or close to it. So there, the whole thing is great. Now their their blonde ale is in the '90s. It's very enjoyable. And some of these are just dynamite. The imperial stout, the chocolate mint stout. I mean, that thing is just gorgeous, gorgeous. So Guinness is one of the world's great beer companies, I think. So if you ask me, what are some of the world's greatest beer companies, immediately I would say D Guinness from Diageo. And Guinness is Diageo. It's not that they got bought out by Diageo. They actually created Diageo um, through a series of acquisitions and mergers. So yeah, 100 out of 100, a fabulous product. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Dublin, Ireland and tour the Guinness Brewery.